Hey everybody, Jake here bringing you another video today. I've got to review the Thompson M1A1. Well, I'm going to try to do something a little different on my channel. This time, instead of doing a review where I usually <coughs> talk about the gun, then I shoot it for you, I'm going to do a separate video and then that way it doesn't get as lengthy with the shooting test and I can get a nice detailed shooting test. So, this is Cyberguns Thompson M1A1. This does about... I'm going to estimate 302 feet per second, low 300s. It says on the box it does 206, 226, I think. And But that's um, with, point two, with point one two grams in. Don't use point one two grams. So it's got a fake charging handle right here. You know, you can just put the mag in. And I bought, well, my, my, me and my dad bought... This is our gun, both of our guns, because I chipped in some money, he chipped in some money. We bought the drum mag version, so thousand round drum mag. And I'll t talk about that later. So, fake wood hand grip and fake wood stock. This is actually where the battery goes, and it comes with this mini type 8.4 450 milliamp battery. It says it right on the back here. Not sure if you can see that. YouTube might be a little dark, but it says it in this battery mice must be recycled or disposed properly and don't charge it for more than five hours. But that's just and it comes with a little wall charger. I think it's two thousand milliamp. Yeah. The um limit on it's two thousand milliamp. So yes. So anyways, fire selector. So yeah, I recommend getting a smart charger. I don't have one yet, but Fire selector, safe, I mean, sorry, fire, see the trigger's moving, safe, trigger won't move, and safety does function, and then full auto, oh wait, no, sorry, that's full auto, no, wait, sorry. this is full auto, and that's semi, so, great gun, um, the mag release is right here, I don't like the mag release on it, that's just me, real, um, Fake, sorry, fake wood um, grip here. It's mostly plastic. Sights are plastic. Bolts plastic. Um, sling mounts are plastic. I mean, are metal. They have to be. Inner barrel and inner barrel and outer barrel are both made of metal. Metal. I think the mag really. I think it's metal. And this is the hop up right here. This thing, it's fully working hop up. Took me a while to figure that out. I thought it was just some, you know, thing. I had no clue what it was. So, now I'm gonna show you how to load the drum mag. The gun aside for a bit. Come down here, leave my camera girl. Um, so this is the drum mag here. Now I'm gonna use point twenty gram ammo. Now this is always smart to use because it's heavy enough so that the BB will will be accurate, but it's also not too heavy, so the BB will still have some kick to it. So do not use .12 gram ammo in it. I've got a little bit of .12 gram ammo in here. I'm not sure if you can see with those brown ones. .12 gram ammo, but I didn't want it. So what you want to do is just pull down on this little trap door here. Like that. And then it opens up. Now you just want to pour your babies in there. I'm not going to because I've got it emptied for a reason. And then this is your spring release. So if if the mag just, like, what the heck, it's not working anymore, just pull that back like this. It'll take all the tension off the spring. And then you want to wind it here now. See this textured bit here? Oh, yeah, I want to mention that the winder here is metal. The mag itself is plastic. Spring inside the, the spring inside the mag is metal as well, but see this textured bit here on the. Well, my left, your right, probably. So you just want to push down on that, and all the way around. So do not go count go clockwise, not counterclockwise. If you just like you know you wind it counterclockwise like that. Oh no, that's not that big of a deal. But if you wind it counterclockwise like that. All the time you want to hear the louder click when you wind it counterclockwise you'll hear a click but it will be quiet so yeah this gun 
you will never, ever, ever drop the mag in it unless you're a complete dummy. So, oops, you just put the slide in the track, and then, <coughs> boom, mag's in. Now, it's a little tricky to get out. You just want to pull up on this mag release, and it brings it out. After your fifth or sixth time pulling it out, it gets a little bit loose. So, the sight here is, can, is fully adjustable. You can adjust it side to side or up and down. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you want to line it up with this right front sight here. So it's a peep sight. I like the orange tip because it's not one of those big fat orange tips that stick out and look retarded. It's just a little. So to put the battery in, all you need to do is push up on this. Yeah, push up on this. And take the wait. Oh, sorry. Push down on it. No, push up on it. Yeah, and then the whole plate will pop off like that. And then you want to put the battery in. And this battery is not fully charged. I've only had it in for like about a half an hour. So this is it on single. And as you can see, single does work. See, no more shots. Or you can put it on a full auto. So, oh yes, another thing I want to mention about this gun is the low price. The low price. It's only $179. Now, I got a good discount at Canadian Tire. And I think, I don't know what you guys in America will do. But right now, anybody in Canada, right now it is, it's Monday. It's Monday, and my Canadian Tire, they are selling them 40% off, and it's only $107. So, great gun for the price. Um, not if you pay $179 for it. I do not believe that this gun is worth $179. So, I would not pay that money. I would not pay that much. And my dad said if it actually was $179, he would not pay this much. So... This has been my review of the Thompson M1A1. So if you'd like to purchase this gun, Canadian Tire, um, you can get it at many other retailers. My face. This is actually on Airsoft GI2 for $79, which is a really nice deal. So it's on Airsoft GI, Canadian legal version, and um, uh, American full black version. So if you don't want the clear plastic version, they also sell them in America for... $79 at Airsoft GI and it's the black version if you don't like the clear plastic a lot of people don't I don't like it either I know I'd rather have a black one but clear plastic kind of cool so as always it's been another Jacob video and shoot safe